Earlier this week, the Deputy Governorship Candidate of Social Democratic Party, LZP, in reverse it, High Chief Dr. Mrs. Patricia Woodgall Bonaya Chiepi, Adeko Lobo, the second of the Bear Lounge, inaugurate LMA Women Congress, launching out River State Women on a platform of River State Women Congress for 2023 forthcoming general election. Because our God does not work with trials. He demonstrated it with our principle years back. Minority leader in the house. And it taught him how to handle the legislative arm of God. By profession, is a lawyer. So he knows very well about the judiciary. Elementary women, judiciary is the arm of justice. Our principal, Magnus M. of Nakuniyabe, has been trained on how to deliver justice to the oppressed. We were the oppressed. But today, you can see the miracle. One of the reasons why the first women did not have anything because they didn't have men to support us. And who convened this meeting? It's a man. It's a solid rock in England. It's not by accident. And he has volunteered himself to be by us. The last speaker said that we will support you. That's what we needed. We needed a man to back us. In 2015, instead of supporting and appreciating what we are doing, they were rather envying us as if we've come to take over from them. Meanwhile, we are supporting them. So that's a green light that we are going to enjoy the dividend as a democracy. Our leader has been trained. It's a man of justice. That's why he has been crying in the wilderness. And eventually came to pay my principal, the incoming executive governor of the River State, the distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Senator Magnus Ndei Abe. Who God has trained in every aspect of governance. A terrible world which has come to be challenged that among the contestants, whom has God prepared by distinguished Senator Magnus Abe? Magnus won election. From the minority party. He came to the House of Assembly in 1999 and became the minority leader. That's an encouragement. That to it, yeah, it belong to God. It doesn't belong to anybody. He said, God says, I'm interested in the affairs of man. He ruled over the kingdom of man. He removed kings and set up kings. So nobody can beat his chest. In 2015, PDP did not have money. And because God wanted to remove the other king and put this one, they didn't give me money, they didn't give me money. We went out of our wills. And God honored it. So nobody should play God, please. It's only God. So once you have spoken to I thy heart, the power belongs to God. And he give that to whoever. So that is why I believe. Man who said something one day, I said, ah, this man is not fast finish. He said, all he wants, one of the main reasons why he wants to win. But this is a question of what did I do this thing. Not what in office, and it is just question. He said that God may show people that he seemed that he had power. I said, ah, are you this man very well? That power is not from money. It's not by your strength. I saw a guy, you don't win, finish you. This one, you don't carry and give God. Let me say you are there already. I thank God. So they follow you for back. So, I will not create any men women come today. And I want to declare and announce here that the River State Daughters that we, the platform of River State Daughters that we used in 2015, 
And by the powers vested on me as the president of River State Daughters, I'm changing that name today to River State Women Congress. Thank you, Dr. So we we'll have Women Congress in order to include the people of it. And then they may, you have been the leader, and you remain the leader. The next local government will have patrons. The enemy here will already have our patrons. Our priests, they are going to be our patrons. You will not only be the patron of the enemy, you will be the river state, the patron of the river state in my country. My leader said something, and she was saying, he said, because we had no one to speak to us. Our leader also said, that you will give us vote. Now, the vote yourself from your father, the consequences are there. And that is why we have been suffering. Today, the treasure God has given us, the federal is taking with the idea of privatizing it or selling it, upright or whatever, whatever, whatever. It could have been there, you can be sure, if the state government is in tandem with the federal government. So I stand here on behalf of my Abbey because I know that is what he will do. It's a man that was well trained by God and by his parents. His parents include this man in our standing, the A family. You will know a man that is brought up very well. He respects women. He respects men. He respects everyone. Somebody said here that he listens. The man who does not respect, who has no respect for that, will not listen to you. That is an evidence of truth confirmed. So I'm not the only one praising Michael Sabi. I'm not saying why it's not. So, federal government, I want to call on you, please. If it's because you are not in tandem with the state government, I want to join my voice with the voice of the prince. So give us a few time. When Matthew Sabe comes to power, watch if we not work in synergy with him. What is here is for all of us. Don't precipitate any trouble by privatizing it. It will be fun for you to go to a man's house. What the man Charities to my his wife and daughters. This the final is like wife and daughters to the people of the country, especially our men. Our men. You don't go to their house and say, Just give me a wife, give me your daughters. No matter how weak that man is, try it and you know whether the man is truly weak or not. So please don't take us for granted. If it's because you are going to be working in tandem with us, Matthew Sabe has been prepared to work in tandem with the federal government. In Jesus' name. That was why God asked him to go to the Senate. Not once, but twice. He has represented you before, and he did very well. A man will not learn left hand at his old age, so he will not change now. The God that led him to do all he did for you. You are blessed. You are going to produce a governor. It's already settled in heaven. And that is the reward of your faithfulness. That tells you that God owes no man. He owes no man. As long as you serve him diligently, no eye service. Whatever you will do for this cause, please do it. My own is a testimony. I was not part of the movement. But God knows that I worked for PDP in the state. All the doors to doors we are the one that did it. Some text back and back. I mean, I, we are still with so I look at myself in the mirror. Talk to something else. Just working for PDP. I was the first female member of PDP in the Pearland. But today those who came after me. Those who will enter my car to go to places. When we are following me suddenly, 
and the security will be saying, Would the guy cannot enter? I said, Ah, come on board. They now come on board and fence me off. And God decided, I witnessed this idea now. Going around the local government, it's not, it's not an easy thing. Mobilizing people, we did. Then nobody paid us. I couldn't do address my woman again, but thank God they said it's in charity. And he said, okay, and God said, come and serve you the, the, the land in a different capacity. And the men left alone. And I decided to open skill acquisition center where I was training people free of charge in partnership with the little Betty Apiapi. All this, they call them bad boys, but I tell you they are good boys. They are good boys because all of us have seen and come short of the glory of God. At one point or the other in life, we missed our steps. When nobody threw his prayer line, all that we wanted to be. And God said, No, go and call that new man, like Bumi in the bush. And I was gone. And I said, No, 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 no. God so said, hey, You have been praying for the last few days. The God said, Now I want you to go and pay back. Stop. Start wasting much time in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Amen. and the authority and power given to me by my distinguished senator, Muge the incoming governor of River State, and the chairman of the party, River State leaders, the members of LDC, I inaugurate you today as LMA Women Congress. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And today, the River State Women Congress is born with the patron of our patron as. Prince, Kenneth, Inge, almost under that picture. <laughs> Thank you very much. Governor had pronounced, and so shall it be. And it has started from here, Elena Land. She has said, Rivers Women Congress is better. And she has also inaugurated the Elena Women Congress. Yes, Elena bypass conferred on me as the state chairman of SDP and on behalf of SDP River States and Nigeria at large, Your Excellency, I stand here today to say that in honor of this memorable birth, in honor of this beginning, the Rivers Congress, Women Congress, Rivers Women Congress, that has begun from this land, which you have also sanctioned to be better across the edges. I hereby, in my status as a state chairman, do decorate you as the grand patroness of the Rivers Women Congress and the mother and grand patroness of the Elimme Women Congress. As we are going to go now, let the goodness of God to follow you. The mercy of God to follow you. The glory of God will shower upon you. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs>